do want to bring up how I was reevaluated on a static condition, but we'll get to that here in a second. So Jason, when it comes to static, can you tell us what the word static in terms of VBA means? Yeah, you know, so I'll give you, I'll give you my version, right? Um, my, my Barney style version here is when they're talking about static or you hear the word static, what that is, what that is implying is that your condition has not gotten any better, any better for a period of typically five years or more. Now, in some cases, it could just be the condition itself warrants the fact that it's just going to never get better, right? You got Lou Gehrig's disease, that's not going to get better, right? You, it's not going to magically get better. It's probably only going to progress and get worse. So when you look at it through that mindset, Clay, I think that the word static um, really, really is an important piece of the pie when you're filing your claim because I think, and I'm guilty of this, and, and you may be too, and I'll let you decide or if you are or not. Yeah. I'm guilty of saying, you know, hey, look, just get your current records about your condition and file it, right? I mean, you can go get your nexus over here, right? But the nexus sometimes is not really a diagnosis nexus. It's just showing that something kind of started in this time period, and you're not really showing the static nature of the condition. You're just, mm -hmm. here's my last medical record from a month ago. There's no real conversation from the doctor about how long it has been that way, or if it's gradually increased, or if it actually got better. There's none of that talk. So that leaves the VA confused. Are you static or are you not? If they're confused in this situation, they're going to rule against you in the mm -hmm. sense of they will schedule a future exam. Being static, Clay, is so important for all of us to know, understand, to try to document the static nature of your condition that that's why we're doing this video. That's how important it is because if you are deemed static, meaning again, in Barney terms, your condition is proven either by its nature or by documentation of longevity of having that condition that it is not likely to get any better. It hasn't gotten any better. In fact, it might have actually gotten a little bit worse. The VA will then determine that a future examination is not warranted for that specific condition. And we all know it takes those types of conditions to build upon to get to that 100% permanent and total. I do have more to say, but I want to kick yeah. it to you and hear what you got to say. Yeah, I can I can do this whole hour long video on static by itself, right? And so I'll try and be concise. I love how you mentioned five year rule, and we don't I don't want to go into that yet, but that is a part of the static discussion when it comes to the VA. A lot of questions I see veterans ask about static is, "Hey, is my PTSD static?" or my is my flat feet static static is not tied to a condition in some instances it is like your very severe schizophrenia right um, or bipolar disorder you have missing cartilage in your knees your cartilage is not is not going to magically reappear right and so there are few very very few relative to the grand scheme of disabilities um, that are static and so that's not the right question to ask and then Another question I get is, okay, well, how do I get my stat? How do I get my conditions to be static? And this one is when it gets tricky. I'll tell you this: the the number one veteran I see that is a hundred percent and not permanent in total, which means there are a few of their conditions could be all, could be one, could be half, um, are not static. Are those with that one time diagnosis, right? I paid for a private nexus and a private DBQ. I paid an additional fee to have the diagnosis. I have the evidence for the diagnosis, right? I, I am diagnosed clinically. It's a true diagnosis, uh, but that diagnosis is three months old, old. And then really you get into the chronic and current diagnosis, which is supposed to be one year. That part is a little subjective for the VA. Um, but when you have these I'm going to call it short-term diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, that's not the longevity required for that condition to be static. And so um, although you might pay that private nexus, private DBQ, and you don't have a diagnosis, which one I would never, I can't, 
there's not a single situation I would ever recommend a veteran to go that route without a actual clinical diagnosis from their primary healthcare team. But a lot of people do, right? A lot of people don't have time to get the diagnosis, especially if VA healthcare is their only option. And so that's where you see these uh, static or these non-static ratings are generally from um, those conditions. Now, obviously you have like your cancers that, that will heal according to the VA, right. right? And when I say heal, I mean, they'll be back later on, which is insane to me. Right. Um, but yeah, so th those are the two most common things I see about static and um, what static means. And you brought it up. You, you said it beautifully about your condition will not, is not likely to improve. And there's that five-year window that the VBA has to either deem your condition static or, um, lower the rating for that, right? Maybe you're diagnosed with me 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 mental health. You take medication. Uh, mental health medication does work for some, definitely not all, but theoretically you could have a 0% for mental health, right? You could go from 50 and in two years you're on medication, you're doing cognitive behavior therapy, you're doing all this other stuff. Theoretically, you could be 0%, right? Um, because you healed according to the VBA. Um, what I really want to hit on Jason, and I'm, I'll, I'll pass it to you after this, I will talk this whole video on static is what the static not mean. Um, mm. every video I see on static, you know, from myself, from you, from all the other creators, everyone talks about what static is. No one talks about what it's not. And what I see is veterans kind of molding the two together. And so static means your condition is not likely to improve. It doesn't mean it won't, right? And so let's say you have evidence that indicates uh, your condition has improved, whether it improved or not. The evidence in your VHA records um, indicates that your mental health has improved, right? You're going to therapy, you're taking medication, and you say, hey, uh, I feel better. So that 70% all of a sudden looking a lot like 50, right? And that rating is static. Um, the static piece does not allow the VA to dig into that mental health record, right? They're not, I promise you, the VA is not out here looking at veterans' uh, disabilities and their VA records. However, with evidence that indicates an improvement and you give the reason you prompt the VA to start looking at that, that is when you see reevaluations for static conditions. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, and that, so for, uh, I'm going to kick it to you, Jason, to talk about, I want, I want to get your piece on what static does not mean. And then I'll go into kind of my story because it's probably going to be a few minutes. 